ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Kent Holstie Podcast right here on the KentHolsteyPodcast.com website and as well as the YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you decided to click this link and join in the conversation as today we're going to talk about something that just recently I've been dealing with a lot uh, on a different level, but maybe it could be part of the reason why you're struggling, and that is pain. We all deal with pain in some way, shape, or form. Some of us deal with our pain better than others, and some of us just like to reap the benefits of being in pain because we know that's the time when people accommodate our needs, our wants, and whatever else we could be going through. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like pain. (laughs) Pain is something that um, sometimes I deal with a lot more than other people. Some, it's about average my back tends to go out sometimes, and when it goes out, it's excruciating, excruciating pain. And this last time that it went out, it was very depressing because it just has hit me at a time when it seems like everything around me is, like, stressful. And... That could be part of the problem why we get so angry, so upset, so depressed is because when we get in these moments of, you know, frustration within our pain, strangely satisfying, you know, some people enjoy pain. But for me, it's like when I go through my pain, whether it be physical pain like the nerve and back problems that I sometimes get. I mean, it's, it makes me feel down. You know, I think about the times when I was young, fresh out of high school, I was working three jobs, one on top of the other. I would stop one, drive across the street, go to another. And then if there was an event or whatever, I would work at this other place. I had no time off and now I look at my life and I I could barely work a job for six hours without feeling drained and it does a lot to your emotional state. But what about other pain that we go through? And when we come back, we're going to talk about this. So join in the conversation. If you've been through this, if you know what I'm talking about, Put it in the comments spot. Let's talk about it and help each other out and figure out how we can get through our situations together. We'll be right back. Are you looking to join a good community with people that truly care about your feelings and emotions? Well, I encourage you to check out Kent Holstie Podcast website where you can find Circle of Friends. Circle of Friends is a place to be a community, but more importantly, a family. This is a page to be supportive by sharing special events that are positive or even letting others pray for you. A place that people can come together without fear of being judged, no matter of race or disabilities. A time to be that person that takes the time to care for others when it's needed most. We are all not just friends, we are family. It's the Kent Holstie Podcast website at kentholstypodcast.com with Circle of Friends. And welcome back to the podcast as we are talking about pain. Pain stinks. Pain is something that just drives our minds wild because... Sometimes that pain is easy to deal with and to cope, but then there's times where it's not. And you're just on your knees begging for mercy, begging for it to stop. 
So we've talked about physical pain, but what about emotional pain? You know, there, there's been plenty of times in my life where I've had pain, whether it have been about losses in my life, about people who I care about, who i grown attached to and, and just have that bond with, or maybe it's pain from a divorce. Been there, done that. What about pain of, of losing custody of, of your kids? Been there as well. It's not fun. It, it, it's when you lose a relationship, it's one thing. But when you lose a piece of your life, your flesh and your blood, it drains you. It, it brings you down to your knees just like the pain of physical pain. It makes you feel like your whole world is, is crumbling around you and you're, you're becoming as if it is ca claustrophobic because you just don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to trust it's everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Because the emotions of what you just have had are now being ripped apart from your very hands. No more tucking in at night. No more getting those random hugs with a sweet I love you that comes with it. No more going to the park. No more going swimming at the pool or at the lake, the stream, the ocean. There's so many things that you lose within that. And it causes so much pain. And I don't know about you, but when it comes to my pain with that, it is far worse than the pain that I had with my back. It hurts. It brings tears to your eyes. You drop all the way beyond just your knees and you fall to your face and you, and you go, why? Why did it have to go this way? Why is, is God even doing this to me? And we start to push blame on other people and, and not looking at ourselves. And sometimes when we look at ourselves, that pain grows even more deeper because we realize what we may have done to ourselves. I don't know about you, but when I go through those type of things, and I start pushing blame on myself, that pain from what seems like that dagger that's being twisted and turned multiple times in different spots is just getting worse and worse. And that pain starts to affect your life where you start to have nightmares and dreams and you wake up from those cold sweats thinking, when is this now going to stop? What is next? What other pain do I have to endure in order to get past these things? You try talking to doctors. You try talking to therapists. You try talking to your best friends or perhaps even your family and... Nothing seems to work. You try going out to places that calm you. You go on a road trip to kind of get away from life and society. And you get there and you start to see and realize things in a different light, a different aspect than you never thought was possible. 
Maybe it's as easy as flipping on the TV or even listening to your favorite radio station or playlist. And the certain words of a song hits home to you. A certain message on the TV show that you watch starts to help you realize maybe something in your life needs a little twist of that knob to tighten something that is loose in your life. Perhaps maybe all you need is just a friend to comfort you and give you a hug to look you face to face and look you in the eye and tell you that everything is going to be okay and they've got your back. You see, there's different remedies for pain. And sometimes we look towards other things to help us with our pain. And we think at first that it's the right thing to do. But then as soon as you know it, the things that you were doing to help you get over the pain is causing far worse pain than what you were doing before. And we're going to talk about that when we come back from this commercial break. Did you know on the Kent Holstie podcast website, there's a place for you to buy products that can help you look and feel good? But not only that, live a positive, healthy lifestyle. It's all on the Positive Lifestyle by Holstie page on the Kent Holstie podcast website. I encourage you to check it out because there's some great products by Q Sciences as well as Herbal Life. So check it out today. It's at www.kentholstepodcast.com forward slash Positive Lifestyles by Holstie. And I got to tell you what, if you haven't been on the Kent Holsey podcast website yet and been to Positive Lifestyles by Holsey page, you know, there's a product on there that uh, really helps with back pain. And then also there's a spray that you do that can also help with pain. I use both of those. And I got to tell you what, I wouldn't have recovered as fast as I did without those products. And uh, I, I just encourage you to go check it out. So that has to do with pain. <laughs> but there's things in our life that we can take when we are in pain that some people tend to overdo. Or maybe it's not even things that are prescribed. Maybe it's alcohol. Maybe it's doing other things like smoking because those things manipulate the mind to make us think that, oh my gosh, I got to have it in order to this. I got to have that in order to do that. It, it just doesn't work. And by what I'm talking about is by taking things that is prescribed is painkillers. You know, a lot of doctors now will not prescribe painkillers because of the fact that there's been too many issues with people overdosing. There's been too many people that are using pain medications to create other drugs that create more problems. And I got to tell you, as much as I, I like those because they help with pain, I really am glad that they're starting to do something to prevent those drugs from being out in the public. Because I lost a good friend to a heroin overdose. All right? To drugs. And if these drugs were not easily available like they were back then, maybe my friend's life would have been saved. Who knows? 
I knew someone that got so addicted to pain meds that they didn't realize what was going on. They lost all sense of reality. And then they went to rehab and then things got better. When we are in pain and we are suffering from unfortunate times, our minds take us to a world that we never thought we would go to. We take that wrong path, thinking that we're going to be able to get through it on our own without people's help. And that's the biggest mistake that we do in our lives. Is thinking that we can do things on our own. If we're going to have help with medications, then we need to be careful, first of all. We need to make sure that we're taking them when we're supposed to. And are we really getting the correct things for what we need? Now, if you're coming up with excuses and lies acting like you're in pain because you want that fix, then that pain that you're going through needs to be dealt with in another way. And I'm not a professional here. And all I'm going to tell you is if you need help, if you are these people that are making bad choices, bad decisions, call a doctor. Go to a clinic. Check yourself into a mental hospital. And just because you go to a mental hospital doesn't mean they're going to throw you in a padded room. People get so twisted in the way they think about places like this. Their job is to help you. They want to listen to you. They want to understand where you're coming from. And if you're not safe, if you're going to hurt yourself, then yes, those are the places you go. To those padded rooms. To those protection places. But hopefully you don't go to those places. Hopefully your pain isn't that severe. I got to tell you, if you're going through pain right now, whether it be emotional or physical, do the right thing. Yes, pain hurts. Pain is something that can either make you or break you. But it's all how you decide how to live your life. So make good choices. Make good decisions that can lead you to a path of success. Because I promise you, once you do, your world is going to change. That pain that you once had is going to go away. It's going to dissipate. It's going to dissolve. It's going to be as if it never even happened. Yes, the memories and the things that you went through are never going to go away completely. They're always going to be there. But that pain that was once severe, that was so hard to deal with, to get past, it's not going to be that way. So stay tuned, because when we come back, we're going to end the show. We're going to wrap things up and uh, get some answers here on the Kent Holstie Podcast. Hey, everyone. I just want to take this time to thank you for tuning in to today's show. Without your support and watching these videos, this podcast wouldn't be where it's at today. And the same goes for the website as well and the YouTube channel. So to help me out even more, if you haven't done so yet, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
And don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified when a new amazing content comes out. Also, don't forget to check out all the other social media sites as well and like, share, and comment, and subscribe there too. It all is being a part of this community where we can come together and show that we care for one another so we can motivate and encourage others. So thanks again for tuning in, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the show. All right, everybody, I can't thank you enough for tuning into this podcast today. You know, I understand that some things we talk about are are really hard and difficult to talk about, hard to get past. But I know we can get through our pain together. You know, I started this podcast because of pain. The pain of, of a divorce the pain of being lied to, the pain of of realizing my home was taken from me And and the people that I once thought I could trust are not ones that I trusted at all or should have trusted at all. You know, I... I hope there's people listening right now that realize that you're not alone within your pain. Because I felt like I was. I didn't have family around. I didn't have but two or three friends that really were there for me through all that. That were there to listen. That were there to understand. That were there to comfort but also understood the pain that I was going through. There are other people out there that can do the same for you. They can help guide you. They can help get you on the path that you need to go. Now, I want to tell you one story before I go about pain. I talked about my back pain. And when I was having my surgery for what happened to my back. I was about 20, 21 years old. And basically, I had the surgery, and at the time, my dad was still teaching. It was basketball season. And I've always loved basketball. And I wanted to go watch, but I couldn't. And so I laid on my back. I, I wanted to, you know, get up and do things, but I couldn't. I just got out of the hospital. And so they had uh, me on different medications, including painkillers. And they were a very high dose. And I only took the painkillers for two days. And then I stopped taking all meds completely with my back. I didn't want them. I didn't want to become addicted to these pain meds. And I did it all on my own. Despite the pain, that's how I've been. I, I, as much as I say I don't like pain, I can deal with it quite well. But you really know when I'm hurting when I say something. Because I try to hold it back as much as I can because, number one, I don't want to go to the doctors. Number two, I don't want to go to the doctors because it costs money. Number three, if I go to the doctors, I know they're going to give me a shot and I don't like needles. (laughs) It's just how it is. But the main point is I didn't let those things control me. 
I didn't want my pain to cause me to get addicted. I chose to take a different route. And I know when I say this, you're going to be like, oh, everybody says I can't. And I'm going to say it anyways. If I can do it, you can do it. It's possible. It's tough, but it's possible. And I know other people's pain tolerance is different than mine. But you can do it. You don't have to live a life thinking that your pain is so strong that you need to keep pushing it, keep taking it, keep doing it over and over and over. And then your, your, your mind starts to think, well, this pain is too, too strong still. I need to take more. And so you start taking more. And if you don't know how pain meds work and how long it takes to process and get out of your system and all this stuff, you need to really look it up because it's quite interesting. And I'm not going to go over that because it's going to take longer. But if you do look it up, because for our minds, what seems like, oh, I just took it. It should be doing it. That's not how it works. It takes time. And then once you take more and you keep adding on to what's already been taken, your body's just going to go haywire. And that's when problems happen. That's when the overdoses happen. That's how people get hurt. And I don't want to see people get hurt. I've seen too much of it. So in the comment spot, I want people to talk about pain. The pain that you've been through physically, emotionally, and what did it do to your body? And what did you do to prevent yourself from getting overwhelmed and taken by the addictions that people have with, with drugs or even alcohol or other things? How did you keep your mind on the right track? Talk about it. And as always... Think and be positive. Do what you can today, not what you can't overcome your pain in the right way. And I believe in you. Don't you think you should too? And if you see someone who served our country, whether it be military, police, fire, or even those hardworking people in our hospitals, give them an elbow. Give them a fist bump. Tell them how much they mean to you. You never know how much that might mean to them. And I appreciate you listening to today's podcast. Please, if you haven't done so yet, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. But also, when you're doing that, right next to that, there's a bell. Click on that bell so you can be notified of all the latest content that's being posted so you can enjoy the next podcast, unboxing, or sports talk, or whatever I have that's going to be on there. Please do that. It helps the channel. It really helps me. And it just makes things all out better for the Kent Holstein podcast. So do that today. And until the next time we talk, please be safe. But more importantly, God bless.